most people may already have an idea about the dangerous and fearsome dragons that were shown in House of the Dragons Season 1, and still more coming in Season 2. But how many know about the top dragon riders who can play a great role in the Civil War yet to come? The entire Dance of the Dragons is, to a degree, influenced by the power of the dragons that various dragon riders can control. This video includes the list of the top 10 dragon riders in House of the Dragon, ranked by how powerful they are. Their ranking has been done based on their mounts, which is, the dragons each of them has. Number 10 is Bela Targaryen. Though she is a member of House Velaryon, Bela also has Targaryen blood. As a result, she can ride a dragon in this case, Moon Dancer. Though she is a very beautiful dragon and also very vast, there's no question that Moon Dancer is also one of the weaker dragons in Westeros, particularly because of her youth. It will become clear in the later seasons. Even though Lucerus is dead, we can count him in this list as number 9. Lucerus had already shown that he was a formidable personality when he took out Aemon's eye with a knife. His dragon Arax was one of the most imposing ones in the story, but he was still very young when he tried to go one-on-one -on -one with Vagar, which put him and his rider at a disadvantage and resulted in their death. On number 8 comes Jacer's Velaryon. Jacer's is bonded to the dragon named Vermax. This particular dragon is still quite young at the time that House of the Dragon takes place, but he is also quite strong and healthy. Combined with Jacer's own very defensive nature, this dragon will be a force to be reckoned with. Laenor Velaryon is on seventh number on our list. Even though he has now fled to exile in Essos, Laenor is still a dragon rider. As he has already shown in this series, he is a formidable fighter in his own right, and his dragon Sea Smoke, though not one of the largest dragons, is still a redoubtable fighter. In particular, he is known to be of a fierce temperament. Number 6. Aegon Targaryen Westeros has been cursed with some very evil kings, and though he is still young, it seems that Aegon has something in him of the darker strain of his family. He was also fortunate in that he was the rider of Sunfire who was often regarded as an extremely beautiful dragon. What's more, this beast was also extremely large, which meant that he would be a valuable asset in a battle. On number 5 comes Rhaenyra Targaryen. Rhaenyra is of course, one of the most fearsome members of House Targaryen. She is matched in this regard by her dragon Cyrex. By the time that House of the Dragon takes place, she is a truly imposing beast, with a size that dwarfs many of the other dragons currently living in Westeros. Before we move on to number 4, like this video if you have watched this far, and please subscribe to this little channel because your one subscribe means a lot to us. Now, on number 4 is Helena Targaryen. Helena is a dreamy and somewhat distant character, but she is also fortunate in that she is bonded with the dragon Dreamfire. The bond between the two is quite strong. And, as an older dragon, Dreamfire is a valuable asset for the queen's party. She will show this strength during the Siege of the Dragon Pit when she breaks free of her chains and wreaks absolute havoc on those who seek to destroy the dragons. On number 3 comes Rhaenys Targaryen. Rhaenys Dragon Melis is a truly valuable fighter, which is why she earned the name, the Red Queen. More to the point, she also had the valuable attribute of speed, which can sometimes mean more than simple brute strength when it comes to battles with dragons. She was also one of the dragons who had a great deal of battle experience and cunning, both of which can spell the difference between victory and defeat. Number 2 is Damon Targaryen. As the first season of House of the Dragon has unfolded, Damon has slowly come to be seen as quite cunning and subtle in his thoughts. He also happens to be the writer of one of Westeros' most fearsome dragons, Caraxes. Though not as large as Vagar, Caraxes has a great deal of battle experience and, just as importantly, is also very fast. These attributes make him quite a fearsome creature and combined with Damon's own battle experience, he will be almost unstoppable once the Dance of the Dragons begins. And, on number one is Aemon Targaryen. Aemon has already shown that he has an edge to him. His claiming of Vagar was a coup on his part and it put him ahead of the game when it came to dragons. Among other things, Vagar was one of those who was part of Aegon's conquest. Both extremely large and very ferocious, there are no dragons in Westeros at the time of the dance who can truly compete with her. This puts Aemon right at the top of those who have power as dragon riders, and his bond with Vagar will have tremendous consequences for the kingdoms. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do us a favor. Like the video, share it with others, and also subscribe to the channel because the bigger the channel gets, the better and faster the videos will come. Thanks for watching the video.